of the innermost of those black lines yeah. because that's actually where it, that they actually meet on the inside edge. Okay, so that's that's marked on there. Now, actually, in this case, because I've um, left a little bit extra than I than strictly speaking, I need to. You'll leave the line, will you? Sorry? You'll leave. you leave the line. I'm going to leave the line. I'm going to go, I'm, but I'm just going to remove most of that there. So I've left about about a millimetre or a little mm. bit more to do there. So I'm going to go back to here. This is really where you need these for. This is this is the most critical of the operations because mm. if you over shorten that, yeah. then you get a gap. You've had it. You know. Uh, if you if you under shorten it, if you see what I mean, um, under shorten. I don't know if that's a term, but um, it will be too tight, and you'll get too much of a of a sort of bow there, and it won't go in place. So it's got to be spot on, but be conservative to start with. You know, j just just go. I would go to the right hand side of that line. Um, get that in place there. You can always take more off, but you can't put it back. You got exactly. It. Right, now my guess is that that will be still slightly too long because I've sort of, sort of done it to the right hand side of that line. Or it might be just right, you know what I mean? Let's see. So register in that end, pop it down there. Done. That's actually spot on. That's fine. Yep, so that's good. That, that If it's got... You, there is still a tiny bit of bow in that. Uh, it's sort of, you can see it only really by the thickness of the line. Um, if it had a tiny bit more than that, that would be okay, but any, any too much more than that, and then you're having to push it down and it, it will then force one or other of those to really push up that way. Okay, these get glued in as you go along, hmm. right? So that is now ready to be glued in. Um, oh, actually, no, there's one, one element of it that's not ready to be glued in. Remember, I thinned both these ends to make sure they fit. Hmm. The centre, actually, the centre is going in place. Mm. It is. So actually, I don't need to do any more than that. Um, if that wasn't fitting down in that slot, you can then work across the corner of there, mm. just because you don't want to do the ends anymore because no. they're already fitting. Right. Can so you show us the corner thing again? Just so I've got it on film. So I'd work the corner like that. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. Perfect. Um, Need one more little bit of gear, which is spreader. Exactly. All right. Oh no! Somewhere down there, there is a bit of maple there. Just just beyond that Rustin's, behind, back a bit, back a bit, just behind the meths, that's the one. Oh, yeah. uh, no, the the, um, the piece, the solid piece, that's the one. The block. Yep, that's the one. Right. Very important. Use a lot for, uh, for the beading, <laughs> in comparison to... Uh... Well, it, it does get spread around. You're a bit of a gadget man, aren't you? I like simple gadgets, I don't like complicated <laughs> Low-tech yes. gadgets. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, Do you sell them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the plans are completely secret. <laughs> Is it patented? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you just pull a bit to the edge then as well? Yeah, just it's just pulling it up onto the, the, the shoulder of yeah. that. Actually, I've not quite got enough. Yeah, I'm just going to put another one. A little bit in there. there, and then just keep a little bit clear of the very ends because remember, both these pieces have, still, have got to come out again. Um, so just sort of spread it around a little bit, some little bits, get rid of them. There, put that up onto there. That and somewhere there. these little blocks just to push it down. Uh, there's no clamping necessary because if the fit is good, that will just sit in there. It'll wedge in there. Compression fit. Yeah, that's the one. And 
Just use your bit of veneer just to run along there just to remove any. Right, and that's the first piece in place. Look at that. Now, to do the next, I mean, that, that sort of took, what did it take, 10 minutes, quarter mm. an hour, whatever, because um, I was fussing around, I was getting bits together mm. and I was sort of explaining it. Once you get going with this job, it really only takes about a quarter of an hour to do the whole, the whole box. Because mm. once you get used to the order in, in, mm. uh, of the things happen, you know, you, you get quicker at it. But also, uh, to fit the first piece, you've got to fit a reference at both ends. Yeah. Um, when you come around to do the second piece, you've already got your reference at the left-hand end because that, that piece is fitted. Same with the third piece. By the time you come around to the fourth piece, you've got a reference at both ends. Mm. Yeah, so it sort of speeds up. Fitting, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you would do three now against two. You'd do this corner. Well, there's now two ways to go. What I, I, I tend not to do that. What I tend to do is to now bring piece three into play and then I sort that corner out and I fit that between those two. Alternatively, what you can do is to now take both of those pieces out and do exactly the same with that In piece that you've just done with the opposite ends of those pieces. Mm. Then do that piece and then each of those pieces mm. You know, you, you trim to length in between those two. Yeah, it's exactly so the same yeah. amount of work. Yeah. I'd probably do the long pieces first then. Yep. yep. Play about with it. In which case, fine. Um, okay. That's it. Are you all clear about that? Yep.